Your predecessor, Commander Sutherland, is missed. But for all the adoration of the crew, including the senior staff, I just couldn't rely on him. He would question, undermine me in front of the crew. I sometimes think they still hear his voice. That sort of thing is a way of lingering. And you can't argue with a ghost. Captain, perhaps you and the crew would be better served if you look at this mission as a fresh start. You can never really leave the past behind. If we don't, you can never move forward. Now, this won't be easy. But I'm glad to have you here with me. Glad to be here, Captain. And, despite it all, we've got our final Starfleet clearance to depart. So if you'll fetch Mr. Ermot, we'll knock out the final details of any outstanding repairs, and then we'll set out for Hotari. Yes, sir. Ready or not, here we go. All departments reporting full mission readiness. We've got our full complement on board. This is my favorite moment, right now. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate could sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Let's make it a good one. Disengage docking clamps. Docking clamps released. Thrusters ahead, Mr. Handar. Set a course for the Hotari system. Prepare to go to warp eight. Aye, Captain. You know what? You take this one. Me? Engage. Simple, but effective. Easy. Thank you. I'm fine. Really, I... Uh, you don't look so good. to get to sickbay. Go. Commander, help me get her inside.
Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenures on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on him, but he'll live. Just needs rest. You should worry about yourself. Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. My name is Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kobliad before. You're... Rare. I know. I was going to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite the Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the deridium you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet, and managed to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. I know what it means. And I know the responsibility that comes with it. But I can't be anything more than who I am. And if someone has a problem with that, or expects something else, then that's their problem, not mine. That's exactly right. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. You don't agree with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Not when the lives of your crew are at stake. My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. He's overstressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind. Which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. Breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. The more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. I think after what happened, Captain Solano's learned his lesson. And whatever ambition he once had is on hold for a while. He may say that, but we'll see what happens. I have to admit, I was concerned when I heard what happened on the bridge. You just followed Solano's orders despite having better options in front of you. Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Fortunately, your cell structure is almost completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture, but I do feel it's my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Understood. Then, my work here is done. Lieutenant Bedrosian. I came to see if you were okay. We were all pretty worried, on the bridge. No one knew what was happening. I'm feeling much better, thank you. It's just part of who I am. You don't have to explain to me, I understand. I'm just glad you're okay. You trusted me earlier, with the shields, and I appreciated that. I want you to know that I have your back. Thank you. <laughs>